Diddy is experiencing significant apprehensions regarding his safety in prison, as veteran correctional officials caution that certain convicts may want to use his famous position. The rapper and music entrepreneur is presently incarcerated in MDC Brooklyn, a federal detention facility in New York City, where news outlet sources verify his placement in the special housing unit, segregated from the general population owing to the high-profile nature of his case. Former MDC Brooklyn warden Cameron Lindsay informed TMZ that Diddy's confinement in the special housing unit is a precautionary measure to safeguard him from possible threats within the facility. Lindsay posits that inmates may perceive injuring a high-profile individual like Diddy as a means to acquire prestige inside the prison environment, akin to a badge of honor. The amalgamation of his notoriety and the grave allegations he confronts renders him a probable target. Life in the special housing unit will represent a significant transition for Diddy, who is accustomed to an opulent existence. His days will adhere to a rigorous timetable, commencing with an early wake-up call. He will be obligated to make his bed, sanitize his cell, and wipe the floor each day. Recreational time is restricted to one hour daily, and he is permitted only three showers weekly. Diddy's meals, amounting to 1,800 calories daily, will be pre-prepared and stored in warming boxes prior to delivery, indicating that the food will probably lack freshness. Although he will have access to a commissary for minor amenities such as candies, coffee and clothing, his seclusion from the broader population restricts his social connection. Kusuros, an attorney representing rapper Casanova, asserts that MDC Brooklyn is infamous for recurrent violence, including altercations and attacks, rendering the special housing unit a safer, albeit significantly more secluded, setting for a someone in Diddy's circumstances. Several hours ago, mainstream media revealed that Diddy has been confronted with a new series of lawsuits today. Disgraced entertainment entrepreneur Sean Combs faced six fresh lawsuits today, alleging that he acted inappropriately with women, but also boys. The plaintiffs in the claims, submitted anonymously in federal court pursuant to New York's Gender Motivated Violence Act, were designated just as two women, Jane Doe's, and four men, John Doe's. The accusers belong to a group, as stated by their attorney, comprising over 100 purported victims currently engaged in litigation against Combs following his arrest last month on accusations of trafficking. Combs, who has entered a plea of not guilty and has been denied bail, is presently awaiting trial in May. One of the plaintiffs in the recent series of cases is a North Carolina man who claims that Combs took him at the age of 16 during one of the bad boy entrepreneur's white parties in the Hamptons in 1998. John Doe claims that during a discussion regarding success in the music industry, Combs suddenly commanded the adolescent to remove his clothes. Combs elucidated that it was a rite of passage to achieve stardom in the music industry. The plaintiffs asserted that he acquiesced to Comb due to fear, anxiety, and a perceived power imbalance. Another individual claims he was assaulted by Combs in the stockroom of Macy's main store in Herald Square. The plaintiff claims that during the event, he was struck in the head and thereafter assaulted. Combs purportedly threatened the individual, stating, Silence, or I shall terminate you. One of the Jane Doe's stated that she was a 19-year-old college freshman in Brooklyn when she was asked to a picture session in 2004 to promote Da Band, a group signed by Combs's company. She asserts that Combs invited her and a companion to his hotel for a more exclusive gathering, during which they were confined in a room. The security guard stated, as per the lawsuit, that the girls were told that they knew the reason why they were there. Combs purportedly administered alcoholic beverages and other substances to the ladies prior to the unwanted contact occurring. Combs purportedly instructed them to accept what was happening, or else he would have them both exterminated. Following these announcements, a Hollywood insider recently made bold statements to mainstream news outlets regarding the escalating controversy surrounding Sean Combs, the disgraced music mogul. The insider, who remains anonymous for their safety and privacy, claims that the unfolding legal drama involving Diddy is only the beginning and that many more high-profile celebrities are likely to be implicated as the controversy deepens. According to The Insider, this scandal could uncover dark secrets that have been hidden in the entertainment industry for years, further exposing the systemic exploitation and misconduct that some have long suspected 
that few have dared to openly discuss. The controversy surrounding Diddy, real name Sean Combs, began to make headlines when allegations of misconduct surfaced. These allegations have sparked widespread media attention and public discourse, as Diddy has long been seen as a powerful and influential figure in both the music industry and broader entertainment circles. Known for his larger-than-life persona, successful business ventures, and for shaping the careers of some of the biggest stars in hip-hop, Diddy has wielded enormous influence for decades. However, as these allegations continue to unravel, questions have emerged not only about Diddy's conduct, but also about those who were associated with him during the height of his career. The Hollywood Insider who came forward recently told news outlets that several A-list celebrities were either directly involved in the misconduct or were aware of it and turned a blind eye. According to this source, many of these celebrities attended Diddy's infamous parties, where much of the alleged illicit activity took place. As the Diddy controversy evolves, attention has shifted to who else might be implicated in the scandal. The insider warned that this is just the tip of the iceberg and suggested that more household names will soon be named in connection with the allegations against Diddy. These celebrities, the insider claims, may have either participated in questionable activities or knowingly concealed what they witnessed, fearing repercussions that could harm their careers or public images. What makes this situation even more troubling is the alleged presence of a culture of silence within Hollywood and the music industry. According to The Insider, certain circles within the entertainment world have long maintained a system that protects powerful individuals from being held accountable for their actions. This system, they claim, thrives on fear, loyalty and the control of information, with many celebrities being complicit in shielding high-profile figures from legal and public scrutiny. Diddy's network of influence, The Insider suggests, may be far-reaching, with numerous individuals willing to keep silent to protect their own careers. The Insider also pointed out that in recent years, the entertainment industry has seen its fair share of scandals. However, this new wave of allegations against Diddy, and potentially other celebrities, demonstrates that the problem is far from resolved. The source expressed hope that this controversy will continue to shed light on the pervasive misconduct and complicity within Hollywood and encourage more people to speak out. One of the most significant aspects of the unfolding controversy is the role of Diddy's infamous parties, which have long been the subject of rumours and speculation. These parties, often exclusive opulent gatherings attended by A-list celebrities, were known for their wild atmospheres and extravagant excess. According to The Insider, these parties were not only social events, but also venues for illicit activities, some of which are now being scrutinised as part of the broader investigation into Diddy's conduct. The Hollywood Insider suggested that many celebrities who attended these parties were either directly involved in inappropriate behaviour or witnessed it and failed to intervene. Some, they claim, may have even benefited from these environments, using their status and connections to further their careers while ignoring the darker aspects of the parties. The parties, once celebrated as highlights of the entertainment calendar, are now being viewed through a more critical lens, with serious questions about what actually went on behind the scenes. The Insider also mentioned that some celebrities are already distancing themselves from Diddy, either deleting social media posts that associate them with him or releasing vague statements about their involvement with the mogul. This trend has been interpreted by some as an attempt to avoid being named or implicated in the scandal. However, as the controversy unfolds, it is becoming increasingly clear that more revelations are likely to surface. The news that more celebrities may be named in the Diddy controversy has sparked significant public reaction. Some have called for more transparency and accountability, both within Hollywood and the music industry. Many argue that the only way to root out the pervasive culture of misuse and silence is for those in power to stop shielding wrongdoers, no matter how influential they may be. The insider's revelations suggest that the entertainment industry still has a long way to go in terms of addressing its culture of secrecy and misconduct. As more celebrities are named, it will become clear just how deep this controversy runs and whether Hollywood is ready to truly hold its stars accountable for their actions. As the controversy surrounding Diddy continues to unfold, investigators and media observers have begun noticing peculiar behaviour from some celebrities who may be linked to the scandal. 
In the wake of allegations against Diddy, numerous celebrities have quietly taken to social media to delete hundreds if not thousands of tweets and Instagram posts. This sudden and widespread social media cleanup has raised eyebrows, leading many to speculate that these celebrities may be attempting to distance themselves from Diddy and any connection they may have had to his infamous parties or the unfolding allegations. In the digital age, where social media activity is scrutinized closely by fans, journalists and investigators alike, the deletion of large amounts of content has not gone unnoticed. As allegations against Diddy first began to emerge, internet sleuths and investigative reporters began tracking the social media activity of celebrities who had publicly associated with Diddy over the years. What they found was a noticeable pattern. Several celebrities were deleting old posts, some of which featured photos from Diddy's notorious parties or involved public expressions of support for the music mogul. High-profile stars, including musicians, actors and influencers who had once been seen partying with Diddy or attending his events, were observed deleting tweets, Instagram posts and other social media interactions that referenced their relationships with him. The fact that these deletions coincided with the breaking news about the allegations has led many to question the motivations behind the sudden social media cleanup. According to some observers, it's not just one or two celebrities who are involved in this digital purge. It appears to be a widespread phenomenon. Investigators have highlighted that celebrities connected to Diddy through personal, professional or social ties have been actively scrubbing their social media accounts in the weeks since the allegations were made public. This has prompted speculation that some of these celebrities may fear being linked to the scandal in a more direct way, either through their attendance at Diddy's infamous parties or by association with his alleged behavior. For many, the timing of these deletions suggests that these celebrities may be trying to preemptively protect their public images, knowing that more names may soon surface in connection with the allegations. The Hollywood Insider, who initially warned of more celebrities being named in the Diddy controversy, hinted at the far-reaching implications of the scandal, stating that some of the industry's most beloved figures were either complicit in or witnesses to questionable behavior. As a result, some celebrities may be engaging in what has been dubbed reputation management, trying to control the narrative by erasing evidence of their past associations with Diddy. This isn't an uncommon strategy in the digital age, where old tweets or social media posts can be used to cast a negative light on public figures. By deleting past content, these celebrities might be attempting to limit the possibility that any incriminating or embarrassing posts could be used against them in the future. For instance, posts from Diddy's extravagant white parties, which have become a symbol of excess and decadence in the entertainment world, have been among the most frequently deleted content. These parties, known for drawing A-list celebrities and influential figures, have been linked to some of the alleged misconduct at the center of the controversy. As these parties now face greater scrutiny, attendees may fear that their presence at such events could implicate them, even if they were not directly involved in any wrongdoing. The social media deletions have not gone unnoticed by fans and investigators alike. Many fans have expressed confusion and disappointment as they observe their favorite celebrities seemingly erasing aspects of their online personas. In some cases, celebrities with long-standing associations with Diddy have suddenly erased entire sections of their social media history, leading to speculation about what they might be trying to hide. Investigative journalists and social media watchdogs have also taken note of the deletions, which have only fueled speculation that more revelations are on the horizon. Some have pointed out that erasing social media posts won't necessarily erase the public record, as digital archives and screenshots often preserve deleted content. These investigators are now closely monitoring social media activity to see if additional celebrities follow suit in deleting content or if more names emerge in connection with the ongoing controversy. Notably, some celebrities who have deleted posts related to Diddy have faced immediate backlash from fans and media outlets, prompting them to issue vague statements or apologies. These responses have further fueled speculation that they are scrambling to protect their reputations in anticipation of future developments in the Diddy case. While deleting old social media posts may be a precautionary measure, it also raises the possibility that some of these individuals fear being implicated in the broader scandal. The Hollywood Insider, who first broke the news of more names being linked to Diddy, 
suggested that the music moguls' parties were a hub for misconduct and exploitation, with many celebrities turning a blind eye to what went on behind the scenes. It's possible that some of those deleting posts attended these events and now fear the consequences of being publicly associated with them. There is also the possibility that some celebrities are aware of information that has not yet come to light. The insider hinted at a culture of silence in Hollywood, where many powerful individuals protected each other and covered up misconduct to maintain their status and careers. By deleting posts, some may be attempting to prevent public backlash or avoid being pulled into the legal and reputational fallout of the controversy. The wave of social media deletions amid the Diddy controversy highlights the precarious nature of celebrity status in today's digital age. With the lines between private and public life becoming increasingly blurred, celebrities are more vulnerable than ever to scrutiny over their past actions, associations and social media activity. In the case of the Diddy scandal, the deletions suggest that many in the entertainment industry are feeling the pressure of potential exposure. In the last few days, Anonymous has sparked a firestorm by uploading the names of A-list celebrities who attended Sean Combs' infamous white parties. These lavish events, once the crown jewel of the showbiz calendar, were known for their exclusivity, opulence and the A-listers they attracted. Hosted annually by Diddy, the rapper, producer and entrepreneur, these parties were attended by some of the biggest names in Hollywood and the music industry, and their all-white dress code became a cultural phenomenon. However, the revelations from anonymous and individuals who revealed the truth about what really happened at them has thrust these once glamorous gatherings into a different light, as some of the attendees are now being named in connection with lawsuits, raising questions about what went on behind the scenes at these star-studded events. Diddy's white parties, which began in the late 1990s and continued into the 2000s, were legendary within the entertainment industry. Held at luxurious locations, including his mansions or exotic destinations, these parties were the epitome of celebrity excess. The guest list boasted some of the most powerful figures in entertainment, from actors and musicians to fashion designers and high-profile athletes. Attendees included the likes of Jay-Z, Beyoncé, Jennifer Lopez, Paris Hilton and Leonardo DiCaprio, making these events a symbol of status and success. Reports have come out that Sean Diddy Combs cautioned individuals under the age of 18 that at his white party that they would need to depart since the grown-ups were getting their groove on. Video has surfaced of the embattled music entrepreneur addressing his annual Hamptons white party, formerly an essential invitation for the privileged. Combs was dramatically apprehended and indicted last month on charges including racketeering and trafficking, which he has refuted. The notorious white parties were extensively recorded, with a celebrity guest list that included Jay-Z, Jennifer Lopez, Billy Zane and Sarah Jessica Parker. Champagne is observed being liberally spilt over celebrities, some topless, as guys attired in all white celebrate on the balcony. Photographs taken at Diddy's penultimate party in 2008 depict scantily clad women frolicking in the swimming pool. A lawyer reports that some prominent celebrities are discreetly compensating victims to evade public identification in litigation associated with the Diddy assault case. Attorney Tony Busby, representing over 120 alleged victims of Sean Diddy Combs, said that prominent celebrities are soon to be sued by his business and he is offering them an opportunity to settle before the charges are publicly filed in court. Certain celebrities have chosen to reach a settlement, he stated, and interestingly, researchers have said that this is why some celebrities have deleted their comments on platforms such as Twitter and Facebook. Busby stated that in every instance, particularly in cases such as this, they strive to resolve these issues without initiating a public lawsuit, as it serves the best interests of the victim. They have already accomplished this with several individuals, many of whom the public is familiar with. Busby will commence filing many lawsuits, including on behalf of 25 juveniles, starting this month. He has initially dispatched demand letters informing additional parties who will be litigated alongside Combs. Busby stated that he will be aggressively pursuing anyone who witnessed the purported assault and neglected to intervene to safeguard the victims. Following his incarceration, people have started to present legal claims and accounts of purported abuse. Combs and his legal counsel have asserted that the freak-offs involved consenting adults and have rejected any allegations of abuse, 
including against those under the age of 18. Numerous celebrities have previously admitted to experiencing extravagant nights with the founder of Bad Boy Records during earlier interviews and public appearances. A dancer who participated in one such event is revealing names of individuals she alleges to have seen with Diddy. Adria Sherry English has recounted her experiences in an interview with news outlets and in a civil complaint, wherein she alleges that Diddy committed assault, among other accusations. She asserted that the rapper had guaranteed access to prominent celebrity figures including former President Donald Trump, Reverend Al Sharpton, Paris Hilton, music mogul Jay-Z, and music executives such as Russell Simmons, Irv Gotti, Steve Stout, Andre Harrell, and Leah Cohen. Socialite Paris Hilton was photographed at multiple soirees with Diddy. In a specific photo, they appeared amicable, each donning immaculate white attire. They were absorbed in dialogue, with Paris distinctly identifiable by her flamboyant jewellery that spelt her name. Former music industry insider Tom Swoop has shared his recollections of surviving Diddy's white parties, which were categorised into tiers of access. The event featured public admission, followed by a sequence of tiers, culminating in access to the inner sanctum where the authentic revelry occurred. This purportedly involved degrading male and female guests under the pretense of securing record deals or financial compensation. Justin Litovsky, now 30 years old, informed the New York Post that he was six years old when he accompanied his mother to a white party. He stated that he recalled an abundance of women and men in and around the pool who were not dressed appropriately around him. Combs was apprehended by Homeland Security officials at the Park Hyatt Hotel in Midtown Manhattan and is currently detained in Brooklyn pending trial. The indictment outlines claims originating from 2008, accusing him of abusing, intimidating and coercing women over several years to satisfy his cravings, safeguard his reputation and obscure his actions. Combs has been accused of orchestrating freak-offs, characterized as elaborate and manufactured acts that he directed while engaging in acts with other celebrities, frequently recording the events. The indictment indicated that certain freak-offs could endure for days, necessitating Combs and the victims to have intravenous fluids for recuperation from the exertion. Federal authorities asserted that they seized 1,000 bottles of baby oil and lubricant during a raid on his residences in Miami and Los Angeles earlier this year. Diddy's arrest occurred 10 months subsequent to charges of abuse against the music tycoon, along with a declaration from prosecutors regarding an investigation into trafficking. The charges originated from a lawsuit filed by Diddy's former partner, Cassie Ventura, asserting that she was subjected to physical assault and violence by the artist. The lawsuit was resolved the day following its public disclosure. Nonetheless, Diddy has subsequently faced more allegations. The accusation against him further asserts that he systematically coerced and mistreated women over an extended period, including extortion and egregious acts of violence to maintain control over his victims. It alludes indirectly to an assault on his ex-girlfriend Cassie that was recorded on tape. Prosecutors sought his incarceration. His attorneys suggested his release on a 50 million bond under house confinement with electronic monitoring. U.S. Magistrate Judge Robin Tarnofsky ruled in favor of the government. Similar to several aging hip-hop icons, Bad Boy Records founder Diddy has cultivated a more benign public persona. However, prosecutors asserted that he enabled his offences by employing the very organisations, individuals and techniques that propelled him to prominence. They asserted they would substantiate the allegations with financial and travel documentation, electronic correspondence and recordings of the freak-offs. A conviction on all charges would necessitate a mandatory 15-year jail term, with the potential for a life sentence. The parties became known for their strict all-white dress code, where guests were expected to don their finest attire to match the theme. Photos from these events often circulated in the tabloids, showing a glamorous and carefree side of the rich and famous. However, behind the glamour, rumours persisted about the exclusivity and hidden dealings that took place at these events. Some speculated that these parties served as more than just social gatherings, with darker aspects of celebrity culture allegedly at play. The Collective Anonymous, which has a history of hacking and whistleblowing, recently turned its attention to Diddy's white parties, uploading a series of documents and guest lists that detail the names of high-profile celebrities who attended these events. 
These leaks come in the wake of ongoing legal controversies surrounding Sean Combs, which have included lawsuits and allegations involving his business practices and personal life. According to reports, some of these lawsuits have implicated celebrities who were regular attendees at the white parties, fueling speculation about what really went on during these lavish gatherings. Anonymous, known for its decentralized structure and commitment to exposing corruption and abuse of power, justified the leaks by claiming that the public has a right to know about the behavior of influential figures in society. The group uploaded documents containing the names of attendees, including A-list actors, musicians and media moguls, and that many of these individuals were well aware of what was happening during these events. The leaks have added fuel to the fire of ongoing lawsuits involving Sean Combs, particularly those that have emerged from former associates and employees. While many of these legal actions focus on business disputes, allegations of misconduct and other issues unrelated to the white parties themselves, the association of certain celebrities with these events has drawn increased public attention. Some reports suggest that individuals named in these lawsuits were also regular attendees at Diddy's white parties, raising questions about their involvement in any potentially illicit activities. Sean Diddy Combs' attorney has provided an unusual rationale for the discovery of 1,000 bottles of baby oil during searches of the rapper's residences. As per an indictment revealed last week, federal authorities found over 1,000 bottles of baby oil and lubricant during the raid on the music mogul's residences in Los Angeles and Miami on March 25th. Diddy's attorney, Mark Agnifilio, has expressed skepticism regarding the implausible quantity of bottles that officials claim to have discovered. He said that there was not a thousand bottles, thereafter implying that Diddy merely enjoys accumulating his necessities, adding that there is a Costco located just down the street, and it is his belief that Americans purchase in large quantities, as is often understood. In reaction to Agnifilo's assertion that the baby oil may have been acquired in bulk at a Costco, the company informed news outlets in a statement that they do not provide baby oil at any of their locations in the United States. Diddy is incarcerated at Brooklyn's Metropolitan Detention Center following his arrest on September 16th. He has entered a plea of not guilty to the accusations and has been denied bail on two occasions. Diddy reportedly declines to eat at the MDC and has been relocated to a section of the institution designated for special protection. While details of the lawsuits remain closely guarded, speculation has grown that the lawsuits might delve into issues related to the conduct at these gatherings. Anonymous has hinted at the existence of further documents that could reveal more about what happened behind closed doors, further heightening the sense of intrigue and concern. Celebrities who have been named in the leaks face mounting pressure from both the public and the media. Some have issued statements distancing themselves from any wrongdoing, emphasizing that their attendance at the white parties was purely social. Others have remained silent, fueling speculation about their possible involvement in activities beyond what was publicly known. For many of these A-listers, being associated with the leaks, whether fairly or unfairly, could have long-lasting effects on their reputations and careers. Given the magnitude of the allegations swirling around Combs and the increasingly intense media focus, many are speculating that something could happen to him. These concerns are not unwarranted, especially considering the number of high-profile cases in recent history where influential individuals have found themselves vulnerable to harm, whether through violence or other mysterious circumstances, while in detention. As a result, fans, observers and even legal experts are raising alarm bells, questioning whether Combs is safe in an environment that has proven hazardous for other inmates, particularly those embroiled in cases involving significant public interest. The Metropolitan Detention Center has a long history of issues, making it a source of concern for those familiar with its operations. The facility, designed to hold individuals awaiting trial or sentencing, has been the subject of numerous investigations regarding its treatment of inmates and its overall management. In addition to these general problems, there have been cases where high-profile prisoners, often those involved in sensitive legal matters, have found themselves in dangerous or even life-threatening situations. The most infamous example is the disgraced financier who was found passed away under suspicious circumstances while being held at the Metropolitan Correctional Center, another federal detention facility in New York, 